Alrighty, everybody. Hello, 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 and welcome back. Welcome back. I am your host, Ramadi, and here we are back in the Space Engineers. Um, if you have been with us for episodes one and two, then you know that uh, so far what we have done is that we have kind of gone over the basics of the movement and the menus, and then we have gone over the basics of the ore that you have to collect early in the game in order to get, get things done. So now what I'm going to do is in your station, you, are, you start off with some things in the station that you don't necessarily need. Um, you have all of these platforms that are, that are around you, and all of these platforms are made of iron, but that's only iron. Here on these landing gears is that the landing gears is what you, you use to connect a ship to the station. That's what you do. But, but these are large landing gears. And so I, I don't need to build a large ship right now. So I'm going to go ahead and take my grinder out. And I'm going to grind away three of these landing gears. Because I, I don't need them. And as you see from the little window that pops up, in these things I have tubes, construction components, and motors. And, and so I'm just going to go ahead and grind these and, and collect these components that I don't necessarily need. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I, I need to get, early in the game, I need to get a, a cargo container. I have to have something that will hold the components that I don't need. So I'm, I'm going to go onto my, my uh, shift to menu, my second toolbar, just because I like to put certain things in order. And here I'm going to actually search the word small, and that's going to come up with a small cargo container. Now, as you see from the cargo container, um, I need to have a display, two computer, two motor, some of the small steel tubes, construction components, and interior plates. In my inventory right now, I have a couple of those things, but not all of those things. So I can't build that cargo container just yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my assembler, and then I'm going to go to the production tab. And I need to have some of the interior plates made, which is just iron, which I have enough of. Now, interior plate, I can just, I can left click, I'm sorry, right click, and I can get one of them made. Or if I hold down the control key and then do a left click I can make 10 of them at a time so I'm going to do that I need to have 40 of those plates so uh, oops I didn't mean to exit I go back to inventory now in the assembly inventory you see that I have 40 of those plates so now if I come back out here and I go back I hit the number seven so I has my small cargo container now it's it's surrounded green which means I can go ahead and place this item down once the item is placed down it, it is used if you look here in the gray window that pops up, I have used one interior plate of the entirety of the things that I need. Um, I put out my welder, and then I go ahead and left click and hold, and it will weld everything that I had in my inventory that is useful to that cargo container. And now you see that I have a list of things that I still need. And so I need 10 of the construction component. So let's come back here into the assembler. We go back to the production tab. I hit control and I left click and it's going to go ahead and make 10 of the construction components. If I come back here and look, I notice that I'm going to need 20 of the small steel tubes. Again, this is all iron based, the construction components and also, and also the, the small steel tubes. Those are all going to be made of iron. So if I'm moving too fast, I just looked in the production tab where I made those things. I come back and click on inventory and now I have the small steel tubes. So again, I can come back to my cargo container, add the things that I had there. Now, what I need is a display and two of the computers. And I'm not convinced that I have all of the items out of the refinery that have been made for me to have those items. So we come back here, again, in the component side, I need a display, which means I need a silicon wafer. And then I'm going to need two of the computers, which is also silicon and gold. So these things have now been queued up in the production tab. They cannot be made because I don't have the silicon wafers produced in the refinery just yet. But I can queue items here in that way over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to queue up some of the construction components since they take quite a long time to make and I'm going to need them. Instead of control clicking this time, I'm going to hold shift and I left click and that's going to go ahead and make a stack of 100 of those items as soon as they are available. So if I go back into the inventory, you notice what I need is the silicon. So I'm going to take the silicon and move it to the front of the line. And that means it's going to go ahead and start producing the things. Now, as soon as, as those are done, you notice that it, it now produced my two items, which is kind of a cool thing. Um, out of the refinery, what I want to take is this uranium. It doesn't need to be in there. And then up here, I need that display and I need two of those computers. What I want to do is I want to place 
the uraniums here into the reactor. I'm now up to 13.9, quite a good number there, considering I started with 0.35. And now the last couple things I need on my cargo container are done. You notice that if I hit K, I can now enter into the cargo container, and now I can start to take these things that I no longer need, and I can drag them and place them into the cargo container. So this is how I kind of manage my inventory. I move things from my inventory to the cargo container. Okay, so we're, we're starting to get the things made. Um, I'm going to tell you this in the assembler. Early, early on in the game, I am going to need six of the construction, co or I'm sorry, six of the thruster components. So I'm going to make those. The thruster is going to use the platinum and the cobalt, which we just mined a little bit ago. So I'm going to go back into the inventories. Now that I have some of the silicon, I'm going to move this cobalt up to the front so that it will go ahead and crunch. And that means that as soon as it is done, I have enough of the items for those six thruster components. Um, I'm going to need many of the steel plates, so I'm going to shift click for 100 of those. I'm going to need the interior plates, so I'm going to shift click for 100 of those. Um, I'm going to control click on the computers so I can get 10. I'm going to control click on the motors so I can get 10. Um, the small steel tubes, I'm going to need quite a lot, so I'm going to go ahead and um, do a, a um, clicky on that one as well. You see that the thrusters components just got done, which is nice. <laughs> I am going to need some of these large tubes over here, so I'm going to uh, control click four times to get 40 of those made. And I think that's going to be about it early on. Um, some of these reactor components, uh, you know, I think I will go ahead and make five of those. I don't actually know how many reactor components you need on the small, on the small reactor, but I go ahead and make those now. Okay, so there we go. We have kind of started the production process. We've started getting the basics of the things that I need. Um, what I'm a little concerned about is that I don't have a whole lot of the iron, which I guess is, oh, I do have a lot of the iron ingot right there. I can go ahead and move. So I'm going to take these things and move them down into the assembler, just so that there's no confusion by the assembler about what it is it actually has. So there we go. Maybe not necessary. So let's come over here. I'm down to 50% energy. Let's go recharge myself. So now that we have those things kind of going, um, it uh, is worth noting that on the station, I don't necessarily need all of this space. And, and I can get quite a lot of the iron that I, that I want off of the station just by thinking about how I can, I can kind of take the station and, and alter it or manipulate it. So if I go over here with my grinder, then all of this area out here is, is kind of not necessary. And this is just wasted things that are light armor blocks. And not only that, they're large light armor blocks as opposed to small light armor blocks. So I'm going to be very careful and I'm going to watch my volume. So bottom left hand corner in that menu, I'm going to watch my volume. Uh, and I'm going to just grind away a couple layers of these um, armor blocks because I'm not going to use the space. I don't necessarily want to go mine for more um, iron just with my hand because that was really tedious. I think as you saw, it took me like 40 minutes just to mine what I needed to get started in the game. Um, what I really want to do now is I want to build myself a small ship. Um, a large ship I could build because I had those four landing gear over there, but you have to have a lot of the components for the large ship, and I don't want to have those. I don't, well, I, I have them, but I don't want to have to mine them by hand. So what I'm going to do is after I get some of the iron here, which I think uh, those two rows is all I'm going to take away for right now. Eventually, I'll come out and take all of that. Um, but what I did, why I did that is because that just gave me about 500 of the steel plates. You saw that I tried to make 100 in the refinery, and it was kind of taxing the iron that I had. Now I have about 500 of them basically for free, which is nice. Um, when I want to start new projects, when I want to start new projects, I go into the G menu. And here at the bottom right, you see that I can make a new station, a new large ship, or a new small ship. A large ship and a station use the same size blocks, which are, in terms of starting out, when, to use a Minecraft reference, I am still punching trees. Um, and you notice the punching trees uh, portion of this game <laughs> is going to last a few hours, if not a few days. <laughs> it's not just punch tree and done, it lasts a while. Um, when I come down in here, then um, 
I, I, I don't want to build a station or a large ship. I want to build a new small ship. And what that gives me is it gives me this landing gear right here. Now, I can't build the landing gear because I need a construction component. So we're going to go over here um, where we were purposely making. If you remember, I purposely made some of those construction components because they take a long time. Now, this is actually done producing everything I asked of it. So I'm going to go ahead and produce a couple hundred of those construction components because I'm going to need them. Um, so we come back over here, I go back into the G menu, this new small ship. Now you see that the outline is green, meaning that I can go ahead and place this landing gear down on the ground. I don't necessarily have to finish out the landing gear. If I want to do that, I can. It's, it's cheap to build. Now you'll notice that the large blocks over here, it was taking me for light armor, 25 of the steel plate. You notice that for this landing gear, now it is only taking me one of some of these things. So it, not very expensive to start building. Um, now, in order to actually build on the ship, what I'm going to have is in my, in my Shift-1 menu, I'm going to take some of these. Now, you'll notice the difference. So this is the large block. This is a small block. Large block, small block. Big difference. Um, and you'll also notice that to build this, it is only going to take me one of the steel plate versus 25 of the steel plate. So much more efficient and easy early in the game to build the small ship. I like to go ahead and, and build myself up just a little bit. I don't like to necessarily build straight down there on, on the landing gear. I'm going to kind of build up. And now I do actually kind of have a little bit of a blueprint that I use, um, at least when I'm starting off early in the game. Um, it's just a, a cheap and efficient little blueprint for a ship that I have done before. So I'm going to take these armor blocks. I'm going to build a little 3x3. Three three, and now I'm just going to weld them in real quick. This is not going to use very much of the things that I have, it's only going to go nine steel plates, and there we go, he has a base. Now, um, I told you, I think a couple episodes ago, that eventually I'm going to need this guy right here, which is the cockpit. And now for the cockpit, I'm going to need the interior plates, construction components, five displays and a motor, and 15 of the computers, plus some of the glass. I don't have any of the bulletproof glass made yet. So I'm going to go back here into our assembler which is still working, as you can hear. In the production tab, I need the bulletproof glass. I need 30 of it. And actually, I know that later I'm going to play around with the conveyor system on my small ship, so I'm going to go ahead and build 50 of it. It only uses the silicon, of which I have a decent amount of the silicon right now, so we go ahead and we make the bulletproof glass. Um, it, I do need some more of the interior plates, I think, so while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and make 100 more of the interior plate. So here in the menu, I'm going to need those plates. I'm going to need these thruster components. Um, I have 400 of the steel plates, so that is just fine. I'll take some of the motors. Uh, I'll take some more of the construction components. And then, um, you know, I am going to need, I think, a couple of these tubes. So I take maybe five of those. And now we take maybe, maybe, maybe 25 of those pipes. And we take the computers. I'm going to need more of the computers right now. I need 15 of the computers just to build my cockpit. So going to have it go ahead and produce those not a hundred of those that is not right let's make maybe 20 more i put those at the front of the line because i'm going to need them right now and we go get those computers yeah okay so now let's go back over here let's go back over here to where we had our ship that was started um the cockpit is the thing that is, is essential for me to have because this is how i go to fly the ship I fly the ship with the cockpit. So here we go. We're going to make him real quick. I forgot my five at the display, and I also forgot my bulletproof glass. So let's go get those things. You will notice that early on in the game, you're going to do quite a lot of this running back and forth. I need five of the displays, so we do those. We move him over here. And then I forgot my bulletproof glass, which I don't actually have made yet. Let's go and make you real quick glass. There are my five displays, and I need 30 of that glass, so we'll just grab it right there. Okay, so now I can finish the cockpit. Now, if I want to, I can go ahead and I can um, sit in this cockpit once it is done. Um, I can get in here. It's not going to replenish my energy because it does not have any energy. Um, not so good. But, so this is, this is what it looks like when I'm going to drive my ship now. If I hit V, now I can kind of come outside of the ship. I have to hit Alt in order to move around so I can kind of see what's going on. Um, and they'll back into the side. So let's hop out of the cockpit. I'm at 40% energy, so I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to make myself have some of the life again. 
Give me some of the life-saving, the life-saving energies. Nom, 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 nom. Give me the life-saving. There we go. Okay. Um, now, what I need is I need some drills because I, I need to be able to, to actually do the drilling and do the mining. So I am going to get um, some of the drills on this guy. Uh, early on, actually, you know what? Before we do the drills, what I want to do is, um, is actually get the... Um, um, the energy in here, so we'll do that next. You can enter the cockpit through the back if you want to. I, I have never really found this to be necessary as I can always pop into the front. Now maybe if you have a larger ship or something and you haven't entered, you can walk around it, it's fine. But I always just enter through the front. So what I use this for, this part for back here is I go ahead and build myself a little framework, just like that. And now in this framework, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to place, oops, I'm going to place a couple of the gyroscopes gyroscopes are the things that are going to allow me to actually rotate my ship around as far as I can tell it does not actually matter which direction they face as long as, as they're just here they're going to let you move the ship and roll the ship around so these are necessary so we build them real quick I like to bury them on the inside of the ship um, a little bit just to make sure that they are going to be fine so we bury them a little bit there we go there we go, there we go. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to place a small reactor. So I know that that small reactor is going to show up here. I'm done with my gyroscope so he can go away. Eventually, I am going to want some drills. So while I'm in the menu, here is the hand drill, which I don't need. This is the larger ship drill, which I am going to need. Now, I told you that we need some of the energies with this. I'm just going to place the framework of these three blocks right here so that I can go ahead and in the middle of this, I can place the reactor. Now, the reactor, you notice that as I roll it around here, I have to be able to have it uh, use the, um, the, um, the conveyor system. And we do that with this window right here. And so that is, it means that it can have access to the conveyor. So let's see what we're going to need for you. I'm going to need a motor. Let's see about the reactor component. I only need one reactor component and one metal grid. So I do need to go make a metal grid. So let's come over here. I also need to get that reactor component done. He doesn't sound like he's doing anything right now, which he's not. So there is that reactor. There we go. There's a metal grid. Um, I'm actually, I think, going to put um, maybe two, uh, maybe three. <laughs> maybe three of the reactors over here is what I do. Um, tell you what, I take as many of these parts as I can handle. Uh, now, I can't carry all of those, obviously. Um, I do need that bulletproof glass. I do want those. I can't take all of those components. So while we're over here, let's think about what, what we're going to need to be building next. What am I going to need to be building? So let's maybe make a couple more of the motors, a couple more of the computers, a couple more of the displays. Those things seem like good. And now let's go ahead and make a hundred of each of those as well, because I am going to need them. Okay. So, um, I have too, too many of the reactor components. This will allow me to show off a little bit what we can do. So, in this case, instead of just clicking and moving things around, if I right-click and drag over here, then it's going to give me the option to move a portion of the stack. I only need three uh, of those reactor components, as you saw, so I put two of them into the cargo container. Okay, let's go back here now. So, I'm going to make the, the finish the rest of this little guy. Um, just like that, apparently I do not have, oh, I do not have enough of the computers. Also, I need a little bit of the uranium. So we see in the refinery if there is any of the uraniums left for me to carry as well. Um, so I need the computers. Let's move the computers over. And now let's see in the refinery if there is any of, um, there is none of the uraniums. Okay, so we take a little bit of the uranium. Um, actually, I have too much in my inventory. So let's come here. I uh, maybe don't need all of those plates, so I'm going to move, I think, 250 of those plates over. There we go. Come back here. Uh, let's get the rest of... Take the rest of those motors, I think. I do want those motors. That would be a good thing. So there we go. Anything else here that I need? Uh, we'll take the displays just for fun. And now here in the reactor, I'm going to take... So I have 13. I'm going to take three of those ingots here now is what we're going to do. And I'm going to move these ingots over into the ship. Over here into my little ship after it is done. There we go. Okay, so now I'm, I'm going to power on the ship by placing um, the uranium into there. I'm going to go ahead and finish these blocks around here on the outside as well. And now this means that when I actually sit into the ship, um, using 1.8%, this is actually going to go ahead and recharge my energy and my suit now because I have the reactor on board along with the uranium. My fuel time when it's not doing anything is 143 years. Pretty good. 
pretty good. <laughs> I, I am okay with that, okay?